Now, India has sent an official notice to Pakistan's foreign office over the forced abduction and conversion of two minor Hindu girls in Pakistan's Sindh province. India has called for suitable remedial actions to be taken by the Pakistani government to protect and promote safety, security and welfare of its own citizens, especially the minorities. Our principal diplomatic correspondent Siddhant Sibbal now joins us with more details on that front. Siddhant. Well, a strong stance has been taken by New Delhi and New Delhi has, of course, uh, sent an official note to Pakistani government today and has asked the Pakistani government to protect and promote safety, security and welfare of its own citizens, especially the minority community. And, of course, uh, Pakistan has got a taste of its own medicine today because we have seen in the last few months uh, Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan has been tweeting a lot about the situation of minorities in India, but uh, they, of course, uh, must be taken aback today uh, by the strong stance taken by New Delhi, by that official note, and the publicly, uh, uh, how publicly India's external affairs minister, um, uh, Sushma Swaraj, slammed Pakistani government and called for a, for a report from the High Commissioner. We saw the uh, the Pakistani Ministry Information Minister reacting to that, to which the, uh, the Indian Minister said that uh, th this one tweet is enough to make you jittery. It shows that you are guilty, conscious. But by and large, if we look at uh, the situation, basically it's uh, in southern uh, Sindh province that most of these uh, cases are reported. And in the entire note, India has given a detailed uh, uh, date-wise uh, incidences of Hindu girls being abducted in Pakistan and has called, of course, Pakistan to take uh, strong action. Of course, this is, of course, uh, comes at a time when the situation between India and Pakistan is not good and uh, yeah, the Pakistani Prime Minister has been trying to divert uh, the attention of the world community from their internal problems, whether it's economic or whether it's uh, supporting the terror infrastructure to, of course, to its uh, eastern neighbor, India. Sajan so Sabha, Principal Diplomatic Correspondent, joining us with that uh, update on the story that continues to break with more developments. Two minor Hindu girls abducted and forcibly converted to Islam by being married off to young Muslim men.